Good morning, greetings once again from Hydro Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. So as promised, it's time for the good video of the 2023 Caribbean Blue, color code 254, Euro gear up with lots of accessories. We'll go over the different options that have been added to this unit, as well as talk about this new color. Uh, it is a beautiful color. Uh, this is probably the first color that we've seen that looks better out in the sunlight than it does in the darker areas. Not that it looks bad inside artificial light or in dark areas, but it does look even better out here in the sunlight. So that's why we chose this opportunity here on a sunshiny Thursday morning here in June to do a little video outside. So this unit has starts out as a standard Euro gear up and then has the black powertrain option added, has the sidecar undercoating added, sidecar interior coating, also has the light guards on the sidecar fender lights, has the geo style luggage rack, also has the light guard on the rear motorcycle light. Unit does also have toolbox gas tank, as well as the amber colored driving lights. And then mounted underneath is the sump protection guard that uh, Euro manufactures. Uh, that was mounted up at the factory. So we'll go ahead and bring you in close so you can see the paint. As I mentioned, it's a, it's a blue metallic, color code 254. Try to get my shadow out of the way there. Very beautiful blue color. You see it has the undercoating that's been painted over so it matches. Also won't turn a uh, grayish color that way. And you see up top, we do have the toolbox gas tank. Also have the black badging. Hide now K37 400 by 19 tires are standard all the way around. Sidecar light guards out there on the fender. There's those beautiful amber driving lights mounted on the nose of the car. Standard handlebar mounted switch for those lights. Gives you a different view there, the metallic paint. Of course, we went ahead and left the toolbox storage compartment unlocked. That way you can see the inside. It does have a little quarter turn lock little tab holds that down there uh, does have a gasket around here uh, to try to help with the uh, the ceiling keep some of the water out um, depth wise you can see based on my fingers how deep that is standard speedometer cluster do have the Euro Enduro style flat bench seat and then there's that beautiful black powertrain in conjunction with the metallic blue. So those of you that saw Ural's video from a couple weeks ago now on the uh, this color release that they did, uh, nobody really made any mention of the engine color in the video. Uh, of course, we had noted it right away when we saw the first press photos come out uh, back in December. Um, little photos, snippets they'd taken outside the corporate headquarters there in Redmond, Washington. And we did notice that the engine was gray colored. Uh, sent the sales head of the sales department a email right away and says i want one with the gray colored engine uh they didn't know what i was talking about uh, there were only a few people i guess that had uh, knew about this, the gray colored engine so this does have the black powertrain uh looks just as good with the black powertrain we think um but they're working on some other options maybe different colors and whatnot for the powertrain which would be kind of cool um, so we have already inquired about that as well and then that uh, press bike also had the uh, different colored bumpers. It had a gray colored bumper on it, uh, gray colored light guards, I think, even a geo rack. Uh, may have had a rear bumper on it, did it? I don't remember. I'd have to go back and look. Uh, but we do have rear bumpers available. We can put on the back of the sidecar. Uh, that kind of tricked that out and kind of finish off the, the rear end. You do see the sidecar drive shaft mounted down underneath the sidecar. Uh, it does transverse underneath the sidecar tub over to the sidecar wheel. Uh, that is, of course, a CV shaft, uh, constant velocity uh, joints there on the end. Uh, that is something you only run that off-road or on slippery surfaces. You don't run it on dry pavement, uh, concrete, asphalt, that sort of thing. Uh, it locks the two wheels together, the sidecar wheel and the rear wheel of the motorcycle. Uh, so in order to be able to steer, something has to slip. So you do need a loose surface in order to uh, use your two-wheel drive. 
And then inside the trunk of the machine is, of course, where the tonneau covers that, as well as the owner's manual. Um, and then there's the storage compartment that you've seen in our other videos underneath the seat. Uh, that's in there as well. You see we have the interior tub coating right there. Of course, we already talked about the exterior undercoat. Uh, that's also on the underneath side of the fenders. All three of your fenders are done as well. And the interior tub coating also carries over and goes into the uh, sidecar trunk. Is interior coated as well. And then mounted up on the back is the Geo style luggage rack. You see here, that was what they came out with on the 2021 limited edition multicolored Ural Geo. So we'll step back a little bit so you can see it uh, wide angle view there from the back very beautiful color uh, the sunlight really sets this unit off uh, that's why we chose to do the video outside um, factory was calling this color miami blue that's what the touch-up paint is uh, marked uh, i know there's some folks that have questioned me on that when i said miami blue wanted to know where i came up with that term for it uh your old redman they're calling it caribbean blue color code 254 it is the same color um, fact is we'll show you here on a bottle um, if you can see is going to say where's it at i know it's there somewhere right there can we see it says miami blue two layer so anyway uh, that's where i got that from uh, that's what the factory was calling it uh, of course we do have the tool kit there also has license plate bolts and then there's a tab a lock tab underneath here it clicks that in like so hold your seat bottom down um, and then inside the trunk, the trunk is lockable, but you don't have to lock it. Um, has a little kick that handle up there. And inside the trunk then, as I mentioned, um, is the uh, tonneau cover. And then, of course, our owner's manual is there. Um, and then you see our interior coating that's color matched is here as well. And then we have a plastic back on the seat. Uh, kind of a little cutout in here. That's a little bit different. Uh, running production change. Uh, here you see our color code. We're 254. Uh, there's our VIN number. Shows you it's a fresh one. Where I guess we're getting ready to uh, turn over 301, huh? Uh, 3946. Uh, I believe. Let's see. Was it the new factory started at uh, at uh, 30,000 even? I believe, or a D D D D D D D D three hundred thousand. I guess it would have been even. Um, anyway, last six digits of the VIN three zero zero nine forty six. Uh, I believe the new factory started at uh, three zero 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 zero. I believe. So that gives you a count of how many they've been producing. Uh, less than a year in operation. Pretty good, we think. As far as that being the new factory, the new assembly plant in Kazakhstan. Very good job, guys. Of course, we've got this unit fully set up and ready to go. Um, it hasn't been spoken for as of yet. Lots of folks uh, interested in the color. Uh, it's a beautiful color. And, of course, we're one of the first to have one out of the box and, and ready to go. Um, we always try to get the videos up there as quickly as possible. Everybody likes the videos nowadays, so that's what we concentrate on. And, of course, service projects and everything else kind of hold us up on that, but uh, keeps everything moving. See the two into one high mount exhaust, uh, that is stainless steel. That's how it comes from the factory. Uh, I believe now, even if you order one and you want one with a, G with a uh, GPR um, high mount exhaust, the GPR should still be installed, I believe, at the dealership uh, because of the way they come in. Um, that meets the proper emissions requirements. Uh, so likely you're still gonna have a dealer that would install GPR exhaust if you order one with GPR. Just a note on that. Pricing wise, uh, without going through and adding it up in my head, we're probably at uh, what twenty seven nine ninety five, I'd say, on this unit. With all the options that it has on it, a lot of premium options. Of course, the beautiful color. Uh, this color, if you want to special order this color uh, and spec out a bike to be your own, uh, that can be ordered. Uh, we can do a new order of this color. 
I'm also told that I should be able to do the different engine color as well. So if you guys are in the market, uh, send us an email, give us a call. We can work up, uh, you know, an out-the-door quote on whatever, you, however you want one configured. A lot of the bolt-on options, you know, we can simply do here at the dealership. There's no need to just, you know, order another one from the factory if it's one that's already sitting on the floor uh, and you just want different bolt-on options. Uh, so your big deal is to, is to uh, determine whether or not you want a powder-coated drivetrain or you want a bare aluminum. Um, and then, of course, the color. And then the other one would be the undercoating and the interior coating. If you want those two, those are a very hard change. Can't really be done at the dealership since that is uh, painted over undercoating now. Uh, if it's something like a toolbox gas tank, uh, you know, if that's what's holding you up, a uh, toolbox tank versus having a non-toolbox tank, um, I'm sure there's a way to order a gas tank through that's painted 254 at the factory uh, that doesn't have a toolbox, and then that could be swapped out. No big deal. So pricing wise, if you spec one out as a standard gear up with the uh, powder coated drivetrain and the blue paint, that adds two grand to it. So minimum at 24,000 MSRP. Yes, we'd like it if, if the uh, product was a lot more, uh, uh, if the cost was a lot less, I guess you could say. I'll agree with you on that, but you know what? If the cost was less than that, uh, that uh, several model year old one that you have sitting in your garage, it'd also be worth a lot less. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, you got to keep everything in, in relationship to each other as far as cost-wise go. So if you know if you could buy a brand new one of these for 15000 then uh, that 2016 that you've got in your garage that you want to sell, um, you know, you'd be maybe looking at five. So it would be devalued from what you originally paid for it. So that's why the price is what the price is. Everything costs more nowadays, so we may as well just accept that and move on with it. Enough of that rant about pricing. Uh, what a beautiful color. Miami blue, Caribbean blue, 254. I think it should have stuck with Miami blue. You know, it's a hot day outside today. It's supposed to be 92 degrees here in Southern Ohio. Uh, so this color fits it perfectly. Just think, a beach umbrella, big umbrella. Be a nice day just to sit in your sidecar all day long underneath the shade tree or underneath the umbrella, I guess. As always, really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, this is, of course, 2023 Caribbean Blue 254 Black Powertrain Amber Driving Lights Undercoating Interior Tub Coating Sidecar Fender Lights Guards Rear Motorcycle Light Guard Geo Luggage Rack Toolbox Gas Tank And Almost forgot to mention, yes, it has a skid plate down underneath. Hindle Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. Thanks for watching.